Okay, welcome back to another video. Just got home from Costco and I'm gonna do a haul. Actually, it was so funny. Costco had all of its Christmas trees out and all of the Christmas decorations. It was funny to see and it was packed and I got there a little bit after 10 right after they opened and it was so packed but it was a Saturday so understandable but I'll start over here got some more paper towels got some of our chicken you guys know the deal if you have seen a ton of my Costco hauls that we get all of our chicken ground beef ground turkey from Costco comes vacuum sealed so you just cut it up throw it in the freezer and it lasts Got some ground turkey for lunch meal prep, tacos, things like that. Ground beef, got a bunch of that for lunch meal prep as well. Got some of these stuffed peppers. We might do these for dinner tonight or tomorrow. They're super good and easy. You just throw them in the oven and they come out incredible. This sounded really good, spinach, artichoke, and Parmesan dip. I need to get crackers for it, but got a big container of that. This is new, I haven't tried it. Korean barbecue style chicken. It has pretty decent ingredients, I think. I think I kind of briefly, yeah. It has pretty decent ingredients and it sounded really good. So, got this. Got a big thing of salmon that will cut up and vacuum seal. Got some dishwasher pods, some eggs. Got some of our favorite Siete almond flour tortillas. These are really good. Got some rice cauliflower stir fry. This is really good for meal prep and they sell huge bags of it at Costco. It's the Tattooed Chef brand and I've only been able to find this at some Targets. And I don't always shop at Target for my groceries so it's really easy to just pick it up from Costco when I go. Got a big thing of Tide Pods huge bag or box of trash bags. I feel like people probably think this is gross that I get this, but it's really good, trust me. It's called beef pot roast, you get two of them. And it's like a really good comfort food meal if you do it with like mashed potatoes and some mixed vegetables. It's so, so, so good. So I get two of those and then caught some sponges. That's the haul. Okay, so I have to put away the paper towels and the dishwasher pods and Tide Pods and trash bags and things. But I wanted to share my outfit because I think it's so cute for fall and I got it off of Amazon. And um, I do live in Florida, so it's nice that it is a short set, but um, it does come separately, so you do have to purchase them individually, but they go together. And then you can also purchase the tank top that goes underneath it. It's a little button up sweater that you can obviously wear open or keep it buttoned up with some little knit shorts. And it's actually a lot thicker than you think. So this will be perfect going into the more colder weather. I do live in Florida, so it's not super cold here. So I do like how it shorts, but it is a thicker material short, which I was kind of surprised about because I saw some of the reviews. I'm not sure how different colors work. I saw the white one and it looked a little bit see-through. So if you do end up getting the white color, cause I'll link this down below, maybe size up in the sweater so it goes like a little bit longer just in case it is kind of see-through. And then this tank top is really old from Shein. I think it's like five or six dollars and it's honestly probably one of my favorite tank tops. So I can link this too. I think it's still available. I've had it for what, almost three years now maybe? <laughs> maybe even, maybe like two and a half years and it's held up really nicely. Just wash it with all whites and stays looking really good and the straps have held up too. So this is my little outfit for the day. Okay, just got home from Trader Joe's. Have a huge haul. This is probably one of the biggest hauls we've probably ever done or have done in a while. So I'm gonna start over here. Christian went with me, so we got a lot of different snacks too. So start, we got this white cheddar corn puff. Haven't tried that. 
we got this Scandinavian swimmer. <laughs> Scandi was in the checkout. And I kept seeing how good this was all over, I think, TikTok. I like the orange one the best. And I feel like I'm kind of weird with stuff like that because I feel like not many people like the orange flavored things, but I do. Got some of these Elote corn chip dippers. Got two of those. Got a few cauliflower gnocchi. Got a few of this rice cauliflower stir fry. I've never tried this, but I got like four bags of it. This is a pretty big haul with multiple of the same item just to have on hand because I don't go to Trader Joe's every weekend, but this sounded good. It had green peas, red peppers, grilled corn, tamari, spring onion, sesame oil, and ginger. So I thought this would be good for meal prep as well. Got these chicken soup dumplings. These are so good. Got some grapes some corn this is a really good easy dinner got two of those christian picked this up chicken spring rolls this probably just be super good for just something to have got these mini beef tacos we had these probably a few years ago when we first moved in together i used to buy these all the time from trader joe's and they're actually really good so these would be good for like quick lunches on the weekends so got chicken and beef got mashed cauliflower got just plain rice cauliflower got vegetable fried rice and orange chicken got a few of those we get our center cut fillets from there so we got two packages of those they're really good we're gonna try this the trader joe's employee was telling christian that it's kind of overlooked and it's supposedly really good so we picked up this to try. Maybe we can try it with this rice cauliflower stir fry. So that's why I kind of got a bunch of them to try and mix and match. Got this. This was really good last time we got it. I know it sounds kind of weird. Some of this stuff, I, you know, sounds weird, but I feel like people understand Trader Joe's frozen foods. So got that. We had this last night with some steak and asparagus and it was so good. We just put marinara sauce on top. So I got more of this. Got some pomegranate seeds, some chicken meatballs just to try. I mean, the ingredients were really good on this, so I decided to pick it up. Some carrots. Got these garlic naan crackers. Got some of these sweet potato crackers. Jenna was in town, um, one of our friends. Well, we had a few friends in town last weekend, and she said this was really good, so we got it. I want to try that today. I haven't gotten ginger shots or turmeric shots from Trader Joe's in so long. So I got three of those. I got some maple syrup. I actually wanted to try this in my coffee. I think I saw it on like a, a TikTok where someone put maple syrup in their coffee. And I know it, it sounds good and I've never tried it. So I picked up some to put in my coffee tomorrow. So I'm going to try that. Christian picked these up. Got some hand sanitizer. I ran out for my car hand sanitizer and I got this one. It smells really good. Got some Borzen garlic and herb cheese. This blueberry goat cheese is probably one of our favorite cheeses. It's so, so, so good. Chunky guacamole, of course. We got this everything but the leftovers seasoning blend. Use this seasoning over potatoes, eggs, meats, and vegetables. Hmm. So we're gonna try that. Just some grated Parmesan. I used to get these every time I went to Trader Joe's and they're so good. And we saw them in the checkout line, so we grabbed a bag. And then lastly, these sesame honey almonds, which I've never tried before. So that's the haul, pretty big haul. Uh, I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Okay, it's a little bit later. We've just been hanging out. The UCF game is on in the other room and Christian's watching it. So if you hear him yelling or getting into the game, that's what he's watching. He's watching a UCF game. We're both UCF alumni. He used to work for the UCF football team. He gets really into those games and a lot of like heat basketball games, sometimes baseball games, definitely UCF football, like diehard fan. 
that's what's going on so if you hear that that's what it is but i wanted to share with you guys my recent favorite basic tees that i heard of the brand for so long my boyfriend wears this brand and he's been wearing this brand for years and i've been dying to get my hands on some of their basic tees i would like to start off by saying thank you so much cuts for sponsoring this video and for sending me my new favorite basic tees I can't wait to get these in more colors and now that I'm working I definitely need to get them in more colors if you guys have been watching me for a while you know I'm such a basic top type of person I have a ton of basics it makes it really easy when dressing for work dressing for just day-to-day -day things it's really nice to have good staple basic pieces in your closet that hold up and are good quality and will last you for different seasons. I know a lot of people that have cuts tees and cuts clothing in their closet like my boyfriend and their stuff lasts for years and through washes and wears and they still look brand new. So I got two different tees and I'll be doing a try on portion of each of them. So the first one I'm going to show you is the cropped tomboy tee it is a great structured tee thick material it's soft i got it in a small because it is a fitted tee and i didn't want it to be too tight i have issues with tops like this that are short sleeved for them to be like too tight in the arm slash armpit area if that makes sense i don't like tees that fit that way so i'm really glad i went with a small and you'll see in the try on portion how great this fits and it's not too tight or constricting so really love this can't wait to get it in a long version i saw that they had a black and a gray and i definitely need those colors in the full lengths and the crops as well okay the next one that i got is their almost friday cropped tee and this one is probably one of my favorites because it is flowier boxier a little bit lighter of a material also a little bit different of a material as well but still really soft it's in a seasonal color i believe it's called dune and i got this one in a small as well and i love how this fits i feel like this is the perfect tee for throwing on running errands you can wear it with so many different style bottoms same with the other tee that's what i love about basics you can truly come up with so many different outfit options for each and one last thing that i like about it is they do incorporate a little x for their brand logo it's nothing across the top or on the back or on the shoulders it's very minimal but it's still there so i definitely do love that i seriously can't wait to get these two tees in more colors and i'm probably going to be using my discount code to purchase these items so if you guys are interested in picking up some new basics for fall winter for layering for work for whatever highly recommend cuts tees so i will put my coupon code on the screen and i'll also link it down below i know that they just came out with their fall or winter clothing items so definitely take advantage and grab some of those with my discount code i will leave all the details down below thank you so much cuts for sending me these items and sponsoring this video okay i just drove out to waterford lakes which is all the way out by my old college ucf to pick this up and it's kind of funny that i'm picking this up but you truly have to pick these up early because they sell out and i just got and i'll try and link it but i tried to link it on my instagram story and it seems to be like really going out of stock now that the sephora sale is happening but i got the sephora advent calendar and it's not the sephora collection favorites it's the sephora favorites so it's all these different brands and i briefly br very briefly looked at the items before buying it because obviously when you're spending money on something like this you want to make sure that you're gonna like it or like some of the items so i briefly looked at it without spoiling myself and they are pretty good they're on the back so i'm trying not to look and i opened it and this is what it looks like on the inside i mean i did a chocolate advent calendar from trader joe's last year and it was like fun but i want something like more fun and i never did this growing up my parents never did this for us which is totally fine i get to do it as an adult and like pick which ones i want so i just think it's something fun and little to kind of i mean it is kind of expensive but you are trying a bunch of different brands and a bunch of different items from sephora that were like favorites of the year so i think they're pretty decent items i know that other brands have them i know that revolve has some 
Aloe Yoga has some. I saw more on Sephora. Anthropology has some. So I'll link some down below for you guys to check out. But I just picked up the Sephora one because I was really interested. And maybe we'll just do this together during December. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this on YouTube because I really don't think I'm going to be doing vlogmas with working a full-time job. It just would get really boring and repetitive. I'd be going to work every day. It just wouldn't be something that would be exciting my videos would probably be like five minutes long um but maybe i can do something like on tiktok unboxing it or maybe i can unbox everything from the week or maybe i will like vlog a little bit each day and like compile it into a week in my life i don't really know how i'm gonna do it but i want to share each day on youtube in some way whether it's holding off for the week and opening it together or opening it for myself and then like sharing with you guys and then like testing them out something like that but i will link this exact one down below definitely if it is in stock by the time this video goes up which i'm kind of bummed because i'm doubtful it will be but if you follow me on instagram i linked it there so hopefully if you saw my instagram story you got your hands on it um i know sephora has other ones and you can't ship them to your house which sucks you can only pick them up in your area but I'm so excited for this and it's just something like just to get excited for like little things each day just kind of like treat yourself and have it be fun for the month of December so I'm really excited um, this is like my first ad real advent calendar I did the Trader Joe's one like I said but if you guys are interested in doing this with me doing this for yourself getting it for a friend definitely check them out I will link a few sites down below for the ones that I literally almost got but I found this one which I loved so I'll link it but I'm gonna head home now and probably start cooking dinner it's 6 30 I just wanted to to share okay I got home a little bit ago UCF one which is good I put the Costco stuffed peppers in the oven they take a little bit to cook about like 55 minutes so they have like 47 minutes left we're gonna open some wine Jenna came into town last week with her boyfriend and they stayed with us and she brought us some wine to say thank you even though she really didn't need to do this but it's a pinot noir and it's sunny with a chance of flowers i wonder where she got this the label looks like this it's 85 calories per five ounces zero sugar nine percent alcohol so it's kind of like a healthier wine so we're gonna open some now It's really good. It's like sweet. I think I'm just used to cabs. You know? Yeah. It's light. It's very light. It's a pain in the warrants. It's light. It's light. I think it's pretty good. I don't know where she got it, but I can look it up. Looks like you can get it at Total Wine. So you can purchase this at Total Wine if you're interested and above the age of 21. Okay. 30 more minutes on the stuffed peppers. I'll show you them. I hope I don't like have wine everywhere. I'll show you the sub peppers when they're done. I'm in the car. I'm doing like a ton of laundry. I'm running the dishwasher so that way I have enough room in it to meal prep later. I have a huge grocery list, which I know is kind of surprising, but for the meal prep, I honestly didn't have a lot of the items. Like there's some sauces, panko breadcrumbs, sriracha I didn't have, things like that. So I am gonna go to Publix now, get a few things, and and then I'm gonna come back, probably heat up one of those stuffed peppers that we had for dinner last night for lunch, and then I don't know exactly how this meal prep recipe works, like how long it takes or like the prep work that I have to do, 
but I probably won't do that until later in the day. I'm gonna go to the store now and and head back and maybe I'll do a haul, but I've done like so many hauls, grocery hauls in this video, so I don't know, we'll see. One more thing, I just shut off the camera, one more thing, um, I'm wearing my Cuts tee that I showed yesterday. I'll re-put my code on the screen, but I literally love this one and I love the color and the fabric of it is nothing like I have. It's just really cute and just like easy to like throw on. Super cute and comfy, which I love, which is like my uniform on the weekends if you guys can't tell. Okay, I am about to start meal prepping our lunches for the week and I'm doing this Asian turkey meatballs bowl. It's from the Recipe Runner website and I can link it down below and it just looks so good. So I'm about to pull out all the ingredients and I'm leaving some things out and some things I'm doing a little bit differently but for the most part, it's this recipe. Okay, we just got back from dinner. We got Jersey Mike's for dinner. I'm about to finish up some laundry and then head to bed, but I wanted to go ahead and end off this video. We tried a little bit of the meal prep and it was pretty good, but it took me a very long time. It was time consuming and I don't know if it was because it's like a new recipe or what, but it took me so long to do. So I don't know if it's gonna necessarily be a repeat recipe. My favorite meal preps are ones that are really quick and easy because then I'm consistently like using them, wanting to cook them, wanting to make them. But if something takes a really long time to do, I'm not necessarily eager to do it. So I don't know, we'll see how good it is throughout the week. Um, but I taste it a little bit and it's so good and obviously looks really good too. But I did want to mention that because it did take me a little bit of time to do and then the kitchen was a mess, but it'll be good. So. Cleaned up the kitchen, we went to dinner. I have a ton of laundry to finish up. I need a shower and get ready for the work week. I also need to upload a video to post tomorrow morning and I need to edit the thumbnail for that. So I'm gonna do that now too. And then start another work week and I will pick up the camera. At the end of the week, I get my hair done Friday finally. It's been almost three and a half months since I got it done. So I'm gonna look a little bit different probably the next time I pick up the camera because my whole head will be blonde again. And I usually, I haven't gotten my underneath section of my hair dyed since the beginning of the year. I get that done twice a year. I get my whole head dyed twice a year and then the other two times or four times I do just partials. So I'm about to be really blonde, which is about to be really different, but I'm excited because I've been dying to get my hair done and I need to get a, a little bit of a cut too. So, because it's getting really long again but anyways i'm gonna end off this video i hope you guys enjoyed i know it was a ton of hauls meal prep um busy busy weekend so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye